Betty. I'm going to do a little demo of my project. So uh, I work in uh, e-learning, so a lot of our stuff is sort of slide-based, kind of like PowerPoint. So my goal was to create a dashboard that lets, student know, lets students know where they're at and uh, how to navigate inside of the little e-learning module that we make. So I created a kind of a mock little module here. I'll go ahead and get started. Uh, this is my intro screen. I'm letting them know that there is a dashboard, which is not normally in these modules. So I found that um, like sometimes the students were getting lost and not able to uh, figure out how to navigate through these things, especially if there's something complex like a case study or some branching scenarios. Uh, what I created was just a, a simple interface uh, that we can use as a template. So I have my buttons here, navigation, once I go into the dashboard, I can navigate through the different uh, screens here as well. So I'll go back here to my main dashboard. I showed you navigation. I have discussion. So these are just kind of mock links. This just goes to Google. Uh, but this could go to a discussion board if you had it outside of the module, which we usually do. You can contact me here. Progress throughout the course, and I'll show you guys that in a minute. But as I go through this mock course, these little buttons will fill in. Um, go back and go to grading. There's also a little quiz at the end, which will show up if I were to take that quiz. Um, go down here. Here's my references. These could be references like APA references or references to other links. I also have a little help here, which just tells them that there is a dashboard, and that's what this grid is. So if I go through the course real quick, I just have some mock content. I'll go through some of it. Come over to section three. So I'll go to my progress, and you'll see that that's filled in. I'll real quickly, if I keep going, actually I go back to progress, go to closing. So I can also use those buttons, as you saw, to move throughout the course as well. I have a little quiz, template. Drag this here real quick. Got to fix that color. So I got 100%. I'm going to restart, or I can uh, go back here. So now I go to my grading. It says that I have 100%. So uh, I can go back to module here. Here's my dashboard. That was the main part of my of my project. So uh, I'm not really coming from the standpoint of being like a UX or UI designer. Uh, I took this uh, series of courses to improve my uh, skills with interfaces for e-learning, which is what I do. Um, the problem was that students were not having enough guidance sometimes in the beginning of the course or having a home base to really go to to be able to find where they are they just kind of get thrown into these these slide based modules which is usually fine if you have a linear course but if you have uh, some other things that you want to feature or uh, want to have them be able to navigate a little bit easier I thought this would be uh, helpful it can be placed inside of any any course so uh, a few of the things that happened with the testing, which were really helpful, I did some testing with some of my uh, colleagues and friends here, which was super useful, but also the UI testing uh, as part of the, uh, the uh, testing site that we did last week was really helpful because I was able to make some big changes there that were really obvious once I saw somebody using, once I saw those four people using the interface, um, without me standing behind them. So the main thing that I, I uh, compared was I had this navigation here uh, before I had also some arrows that went on the either side that took people from different through these different uh, screens as well. Uh, I found that they didn't really use that they just used these anyways so I took away the arrows which gave me some more screen space um, so that was the main difference, either having the arrows or not having the arrows. 
Uh, you can see that I, uh, from before, I did these three, and then I skipped section three, and I did the closing, so that kind of shows up. Um, some improvements. I would probably change this help screen to be specific to the screen I'm on. Uh, I would change this a little bit visually to uh, where this this was. There's a there was a uh, stripe here that I that uh, I don't have on it right now, so I'd probably change that a little bit. Um, I might have some more or different icons for different functionality. Um, I might make this a little bit more visually appealing. Um, so one of the things that I'm, I'm getting ready to start school in January, so I'm trying to get this done. That's why this is getting done a few weeks early. So I'm starting school in about a couple weeks. So I want to just uh, turn this all in and see what you guys think. So thanks for watching.